Welcome at our superfood channel for animals. Today we talk about hyperthyroidism in cats, an overactive thyroid gland. My name is Rob. I am author of dozens of pet books, sold in more than 25 countries. If you have any questions or remarks or additions, leave a comment and I will respond. So, ever wondered what hyperthyroidism in cats is and why we need to understand it? Well, let's unravel this mystery. Hyperthyroidism is a common endocrine disorder found particularly in older cats, like a machine with its gears turning too fast. This condition happens when the thyroid gland works overtime, producing an excess of thyroid hormones. The main culprit here is thyroxine, often referred to as T4. Now, you must be wondering why this is a problem, right? Well, when produced in the right amounts, T4 plays a vital role in controlling our furry friend's metabolism. But when there's too much of it, it's like putting the pedal to the metal in a car without brakes, leading to a variety of symptoms and potential health complications. Imagine your cat's body as a city and T4 as the electricity supply. Normally, it powers up the city just right, but when there's an excess, it's like a power surge causing issues all over, from the heart racing like a high-speed train to the digestive system going haywire and even the fur losing its usual charm. But it's not all doom and gloom. The silver lining here is that hyperthyroidism is a manageable condition. With the right treatment and regular monitoring, many cats can continue to lead comfortable lives for years after a diagnosis. However, the key to this positive outcome is early detection and intervention. Just like we get regular health checkups, our feline friends also need their regular vet visits. These checkups become even more crucial as they age, not just for detecting hyperthyroidism, but also various other health issues that could be lurking in the shadows. So, now that we've set the stage and you have a basic understanding of what hyperthyroidism is, are you ready to delve deeper? In the following sections, we'll be exploring the causes behind this disorder, its symptoms, diagnosis methods, treatment options, and long-term management strategies. Now that we know what hyperthyroidism is, let's delve into its causes. So, what causes hyperthyroidism in our feline friends? Let's delve into it. The primary culprit behind hyperthyroidism in cats is benign tumors, known as adenomas. These can crop up in one or both thyroid glands. An adenoma is a non-cancerous tumor that forms in the glandular tissues. In this case, the thyroid glands. These little lumps are the main instigators, causing the thyroid to go into overdrive and produce an overabundance of thyroid hormones, primarily thyroxine, also known as T4. In some rare instances, the cause of hyperthyroidism can be a bit more sinister. We're talking about thyroid cancer, or to use the medical term, adenocarcinoma. This is a malignant or cancerous tumor that originates in the glandular cells. Now don't panic, this is an infrequent cause, but it's worth mentioning. If that wasn't enough, there's another unusual suspect causing hyperthyroidism in cats, and that's thyroid nodular hyperplasia. This condition is characterized by an abnormal increase in the number of cells within the thyroid gland, leading to an enlargement of the gland itself. Again, this is a less common cause, but it's good to be aware of all possible scenarios. So to recap, the majority of hyperthyroid cases in cats are caused by benign tumors or adenomas in the thyroid glands. However, in rare instances, the cause can be thyroid cancer or adenocarcinoma, or even thyroid nodular hyperplasia. Understanding the causes of hyperthyroidism is crucial in understanding this common feline ailment. But remember, this knowledge is not meant to replace professional veterinary diagnosis and care. If you suspect your cat may be suffering from hyperthyroidism, make sure to consult with your vet immediately. Uh, what signs should we look out for in a cat with hyperthyroidism? Well, there are several telltale symptoms that could indicate your feline friend may be battling this condition. One of the most common signs is weight loss. Despite having a good appetite or even an increased appetite, cats with hyperthyroidism often find themselves shedding pounds. They may seem ravenous, eating more than usual, but their weight continues to drop. Now, if your cat suddenly seems more active than usual, it could be another sign. Hyperactivity, restlessness and nervousness are common in hyperthyroid cats. They may seem jittery or more playful, and while it may seem like they've just had an extra shot of espresso, it's actually a symptom of an overactive thyroid. Gastrointestinal disturbances can also occur. This could manifest as vomiting or diarrhea. 
If your cat is visiting the litter box more frequently or seems uncomfortable after eating, it could be a sign of hypothyroidism. Similarly, increased thirst and urination, known as polyuria and polydipsia, are also common. If your cat is emptying their water bowl faster than usual or making frequent trips to the litter box, it might be time to consider a checkup. The condition of your cat's fur is another indicator. Cats with hypothyroidism may have fur that becomes dull, matted or unkempt. It's like they've suddenly stopped caring about their grooming, which, as any cat owner knows, is unusual behavior. A rapid or irregular heartbeat, known as tachycardia, is another symptom. While this isn't something you can easily check at home, your vet can detect it during a routine examination. Some cats may become more vocal. If your usually quiet kitty is suddenly meowing more frequently or loudly, it could be a sign. In severe cases, weakness or lethargy may occur. If your once lively cat has become lazy and uninterested in their usual activities, it's a cause for concern. Recognizing these symptoms is the first step, so how do we confirm the diagnosis? A cat showing these symptoms needs a definitive diagnosis, but how? Well, hypothyroidism in cats is primarily diagnosed using a combination of clinical signs and diagnostic tests. Let's dive into the process. First, the veterinarian will likely conduct a thorough physical examination. One of the key things they will be looking for during this exam is whether the thyroid glands in the cat's neck are enlarged. These glands, located on either side of the windpipe, can sometimes be felt as small, firm nodules under the skin. If they are noticeably larger than normal, it could be an indication of hyperthyroidism. The vet may also check the cat's heart rate and listen for any signs of a heart murmur or rapid heartbeat, as these can often accompany hyperthyroidism. They'll also look for other symptoms, such as weight loss, increased appetite, and changes in coat condition. Next, it's time for blood tests. The most common blood test for diagnosing hyperthyroidism measures the level of thyroxine, or T4, in the cat's blood. T4 is the primary hormone produced by the thyroid glands, and in hyperthyroid cats, its levels are usually elevated. However, some cats with hyperthyroidism may have normal T4 levels, especially in the early stages of the disease. So, if the T4 levels are normal, but the vet still suspects hyperthyroidism, additional tests may be needed. These could involve a thyroid ultrasound, which uses sound waves to create images of the thyroid glands, or scintigraphy, a specialized imaging test that uses a small amount of a radioactive substance to highlight the thyroid glands. These tests can provide more detailed information about the size, shape, and function of the thyroid glands, helping to confirm the diagnosis. Once the diagnosis is confirmed, what are the possible treatment options? Well, we'll delve into that in our next scene. Stay tuned. Uh, hypothyroidism is treatable, so what are the options? Well, there's a range of treatments available, and the best choice will depend on your cat's overall health, the extent of the disorder, and of course, a discussion with your trusted vet. Firstly, we have oral medications such as methimazole. This is a widely used drug that works by reducing the production of thyroid hormones. Administered once or twice a day, it can effectively control the symptoms of hyperthyroidism. However, it's important to remember that methimazole does not cure the disease. It only manages the symptoms. Regular blood tests would be necessary to monitor your cat's response to the medication. Next, let's talk about a more definitive treatment, radioactive iodine therapy. This might sound a bit intimidating, but it's actually a highly effective and safe treatment. It works by selectively destroying the abnormal thyroid tissue without affecting the normal tissues or other organs. The treatment involves a single injection and most cats show improvement within a few weeks. However, radioactive iodine therapy is not suitable for every cat, especially those with certain health conditions, so it's crucial to discuss this option with your vet. Another effective, albeit more invasive, treatment option is surgical thyroidectomy, which is the surgical removal of the affected thyroid gland or glands. This procedure can potentially cure hyperthyroidism. However, surgery carries its own risks and complications, such as damage to the parathyroid glands, which are important for regulating calcium levels in the body. It's also important to consider that cats with other health issues might not be ideal candidates for surgery. Finally, there's also the option of dietary management. Some specially formulated diets for hypothyroid cats can help manage the condition. These diets are low in iodine, which is necessary for the production of thyroid hormones. By limiting iodine intake, these diets aim to reduce excessive thyroid hormone production. 
However, for this to work, the cat must eat only the prescribed diet, which can be challenging if they're used to other foods or have other dietary requirements. So, as you can see, there's no one-size-fits-all treatment for hypothyroidism in cats. Each option has its pros and cons, and what works best will depend on factors like the cat's age, overall health, the severity of the hypothyroidism, and even the cat's temperament and lifestyle. It's a decision that should be made in consultation with a vet, taking into account all these factors. Remember, the goal of treatment is to manage the symptoms of hypothyroidism and improve your cat's quality of life. And while hypothyroidism can't always be prevented, early detection and treatment can make a significant difference. With proper treatment, hypothyroidism can be managed. But what does long-term management look like? Well, stay tuned as we'll delve into that in the next scene. Hypothyroidism is a lifelong condition, so how do we manage it in the long run? Long-term management of hypothyroidism in our feline friends predominantly revolves around regular monitoring and potential adjustments in treatment. This isn't a one-and-done situation. It's about continually tuning into your cat's health and making the necessary adjustments to ensure their well-being. A key aspect of this is the regular monitoring of thyroid hormone levels. The thyroid gland, which is in charge of producing these hormones, can sometimes get a bit overzealous, leading to the symptoms of hypothyroidism. Regular blood tests, typically focusing on the thyroxine or T4 hormone level, allow veterinarians to keep a close eye on the situation. In addition to hormonal levels, the overall health of your cat is paramount. Regular checkups help to monitor your cat's weight, heart rate, coat condition and general behaviour. These checkups are not just about the thyroid, they provide a holistic view of your cat's health, ensuring that every aspect is considered. Treatment isn't set in stone, depending on how your cat responds, adjustments to medication dosage may be necessary over time. For instance, oral medications such as methimazole used to reduce thyroid hormone production might need to be increased or decreased based on regular blood test results. And let's not forget about potential side effects of treatment. While treatments like medication, radioactive iodine therapy or surgical thyroidectomy can be highly effective, they're not without their potential drawbacks. Side effects like liver disease or bone marrow suppression may occur, particularly with medication use. Regular monitoring helps to identify these complications early so that appropriate measures can be taken. Lastly, dietary management plays a role in the long-term journey. Some specialized diets have been formulated specifically for hyperthyroid cats, which can help manage the condition alongside other treatments. Remember, early detection and intervention are crucial for the best outcomes. Hyperthyroidism is a manageable condition, and with the right treatment and monitoring, our feline friends can live comfortably for years after diagnosis. The key is to stay vigilant and proactive in their care. L-carnitine. L-carnitine is an amino acid that may help support thyroid function and improve symptoms associated with hyperthyroidism. It has been suggested that L-carnitine supplementation may help reduce thyroid hormone levels in cats. Omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids, found in fish oil supplements, have anti-inflammatory properties and may help reduce inflammation associated with hyperthyroidism. They can also support cardiovascular health and improve coat condition in cats. Antioxidants. Antioxidant supplements such as vitamin E, vitamin C, and selenium can help neutralize free radicals and reduce oxidative stress in the body. This may be beneficial for older cats with hyperthyroidism, as oxidative stress has been implicated in the progression of the disease. Bugleweed, Lycopus virginicus. Bugleweed is a traditional herbal remedy for hyperthyroidism due to its ability to inhibit the production of thyroid hormones. It contains compounds that may help regulate thyroid function and reduce symptoms such as hyperactivity and rapid heartbeat. Lemon balm, Melissa officinalis. Lemon balm has calming properties and may help alleviate anxiety and nervousness in hyperthyroid cats. It is also believed to have a mild inhibitory effect on thyroid hormone production. Nettle, Urtica dioica. Nettle is a nutrient-rich herb that contains vitamins and minerals that support overall health and vitality. It is also believed to have mild thyroid modulating effects and may help regulate thyroid function in hyperthyroid cats. Chamomile, Matricaria chamomila. Chamomile has calming properties and may help reduce stress and anxiety in hyperthyroid cats. It can also support digestive health and alleviate gastrointestinal symptoms associated with the condition. Ashwagandha, Withania somnifera, 
Ashwagandha is an adaptogenic herb that helps the body adapt to stress and maintain balance. It may help support thyroid function and reduce symptoms such as fatigue and weakness in hypothyroid cats. Hypothyroidism is a common but manageable endocrine disorder that often affects our older feline friends. It's marked by an overproduction of thyroid hormones, primarily thyroxine, which can lead to a variety of symptoms and potential health complications. The majority of hyperthyroid cases in cats stem from benign tumors in one or both thyroid glands. Though rare, thyroid cancer and thyroid nodular hyperplasia can also be triggers. The signs of hyperthyroidism in cats can be quite varied, ranging from weight loss despite a hearty appetite to hyperactivity, gastrointestinal disturbances, increased thirst and urination, poor coat condition, a rapid or irregular heartbeat, increased vocalization, and in severe cases, lethargy or weakness. Diagnosing this condition often involves blood tests, physical examinations, and in some cases, additional tests like thyroid ultrasounds or scintigraphy to confirm the diagnosis and assess the extent of thyroid gland involvement. Once diagnosed, there are several treatment options available. Oral medications like methimazole can help reduce thyroid hormone production. Alternatively, radioactive iodine therapy can be used to selectively destroy abnormal thyroid tissue. In some instances, surgical removal of the affected thyroid gland may be necessary, especially if the cat is a poor candidate for radioactive iodine therapy. Dietary management with specialized diets can also play a part in managing the condition. Long-term management of hyperthyroidism in cats requires regular monitoring of thyroid hormone levels and overall health. Adjustments to medication dosage may be necessary over time, and it's crucial to watch for potential side effects of treatment such as liver disease or bone marrow suppression. Despite the challenges, hyperthyroidism is a manageable condition. With appropriate treatment and monitoring, many cats can live comfortably for years after diagnosis. Early detection and intervention are crucial for the best outcomes. With knowledge, vigilance and timely veterinary care, we can help our feline friends live comfortably even with hyperthyroidism. If you found this video helpful or interesting, show some appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing for more. This helps us a lot so we can make more informative videos about cats.